In North America, we have these vast groups of people that are almost totally unreached. And if the current churches that we had could reach those people, they would have. In each generation, the church is responsible for ensuring that the witness of the kingdom is going to be transferred to the next generation. The fundamental reason we should plant churches is because Jesus told us to. Jesus commands us to make disciples. And when you make disciples, you get the church. So inherent in the idea of making disciples is church planting. Church planting is the branch of the church that pushes out into contemporary culture and figures out ways to frame the gospel in forms that the contemporary culture can hear. I think the statistics are pretty consistent that people making new commitments to Christ who were not committed to Christ previously are making them in new church plants. If churches want to have influence in the next hundred years, it's almost certainly going to be by planting. What we're not saying is that existing churches are hopeless. The truth is we need church planting and renewal. It's a both and, it's not an either or. I think local churches have to have hard conversations about limitations of what an established congregation is able to do. One of the ways God has always used the church is to ask the church to be that vehicle and send out people into new places. I have loved the Mission Alive dream since the beginning. What I have admired about them is they haven't gotten stuck on a particular methodology. What they're interested in is how do church plants reach groups of people that we otherwise haven't reached. My passion for church planting is thoroughly rooted in my passion to see people find God, discover God, and live out of the love of God. If we grow complacent in sharing our faith, or if we find ourselves sharing our faith only with people who share our faith, then I think we'll find our faith grow stale. New churches do for the broader body of Christ what those new Christians do for individual congregations. They give us hope, and they give us life, and they give us new ideas, and they give us new challenges. And I guess that's why I think having new churches is always important. If you have a heart for people disconnected from God, if you have a passion for living on mission, maybe God is calling you to be a church planter. We want to talk to you. We want to share your passion for the people in your area who don't know God.